I'm Ashu Agarwal. I'm an assistant professor of biomedical engineering and pathology, and I have affiliate faculty memberships in the Diabetes Research Institute and the Sylvester Cancer Center. Organs on chips are essentially microscale mimics of human organs so that we can get responses from those systems in a way that's more replicative of using animals or using simple cell culture dishes. So we engineer these organs on chips by really combining two of the rapidly maturing fields of science and technology. Field one is all of the stem cell work that allows us to get human relevant cells on our dish. And the second field is the field of nanotechnology, which allows us to create uh, highly sophisticated systems which allow us to collect functional outcomes from those stem cells. The big problem that we're trying to tackle is that drug development today is essentially broken. It takes a drug more than $1 billion and more than 15 years to come to the market. And even then, it has a high chance of failure. And the reason behind that failure is that all the testing is either done in very simplistic cell culture dishes or in animals, both of which are not replicative of human responses. So what we're trying to develop are microscale mimics of different organ systems embedded with a way of collecting functional outputs from those systems so that when we throw down drugs on these systems, we can get the responses and we can measure those responses. So I personally see short-term applications and long-term applications of this technology. In the short term, we can already start getting samples from individual patients and test therapy specific to that patient in, in a dish before doing it in a patient. Um, so personalized therapy is really uh, on the horizon. In the long term, we would love for the drug testing platforms of the pharma industry be replaced by these more realistic organs and chips. If, this, if these systems are validated to, to produce responses which are more replicative than animal models, we can create a huge impact in the way new therapies are developed, both in pharma and in research. Personally, I'm most excited about working with individuals who have very different backgrounds. So in my lab, for example, right now, we've got an aerospace engineer, we've got a mechanical engineer, we've got a chemical engineer, a material scientist, a stem cell biologist, and even a dentist. Well, I think University of Miami serves as a perfect environment for this kind of research because we collaborate so closely with clinicians and clinician scientists who provide us not just with patient samples, but with validation in what we're doing is relevant to the clinic or not. And of course, we have a fantastic source of engineering students to work on these problems. 